लाइफ स्टोरीज I mean, yeah. your problem may be multiplied seven times more if you serve the true and living God. He is not a God who will give you a lesser fire and give you an escape route. No, no, no. He will put you in the fire and walk with it. Walk with you in that fire. I mean, that's that's something that I've seen. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego's God is my God today, and I thank God for that. That we are able to see breakthroughs in these areas. Thank you, Brother George, for that question. Oh, Now you said there that you should give thanks for the smallest things in our lives, no matter what yes. they are, either negative. Now you did say also say that you you. All you know how to do is drink coffee and <laughs> complain. Should you not have said thank you, Lord, for this cup of coffee? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Drink coffee and complain was my old character. Right now, <laughs> that's from where I started off. Right now, giving thanks to God even for the taste buds with which you're able to taste that coffee. You know, to that extent, God has made me sensitive. Thank you for the taste buds on my tongue that work, Lord. You know, every day God enables me to give thanks. I'm sure. Uh, brother joseph wilson who's here he knows i shared this testimony in his church you know to get up in the morning and to say lord i thank you for my hair my skull my brain my spinal mm-hmm. cord which passes through <laughs> sections of the backbone thank you for the forehead eyebrows eyes ears nose mouth teeth tongue taste buds the cheek the chin and the lips you know i can i can spell it out so fast because i do it every day and and then it goes right down through my body i say lord thank you for the shoulders arms elbows wrists palms digits fingers and nails <laughs> you know and then i say lord i thank you for the digestive system reproductive system excretory system circulatory system skeletal system nervous system muscular system and all systems in the body all glands in the body all organs in the body then i go through you know the various organs god lord i thank you for the heart the lungs the liver the spleen the gall bladder the the intestine small and big intestine the stomach and the kidneys the filters in the kidneys and the filters in the lungs and thank you for i'm fearfully and wonderfully made and then i also say lord i thank you for the white blood cells red blood cells platelets plasma hb blood sugar blood oxygen blood pressures and thank you for the chemical ratios in the body and then like the psalmist i conclude by saying lord i thank you for i'm so fearfully and wonderfully made Amen. Brother, to be sensitive for the smallest thing in life is a great honor. Sometimes, you know, I've seen in my own experience, we don't know what to pray for, we don't know how to pray. But the Lord just taught me to see. Look at your own body, man. There are so many things inside of you and on you to give thanks for. That that prayer of thanksgiving alone will take forty-five minutes of your time. Amen. To thank for your own body, <laughs> you know. I realized that little by little, and I learned that. And this is my prayer every day: thanking God for every part of my body, because this is the temple of the living God. And so I surrender it entirely to God. That's how it's, Brother George. Thank you for that question again. I'll give thank thanks from a bald head, and okay, in future. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned your wife bringing coffee to you. Just tell us a little about your wife and your family. How supportive they are to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife, uh, she's a housewife. She's from the state of Kerala in India. and i have two boys the elder one has just finished his engineering and he's now employed with accenture and the younger one is doing his 12th grade going to write his board exam so we are just a family of four excellent <laughs> now um thank you so much and let me say bahut shukriya <laughs> and uh, before i finish there's one last question i always ask the guests on here um during all of all the decisions that you've made in your life what is the best decision you have ever made <laughs> that's a that's a that's a nice question the best decision that i ever made was according to revelations chapter 16 verse 15 it says behold i come like a thief beware that you do not find yourself naked but be awake and guard your clothing blessed is he that stays awake and guards his clothing this is what revelation 16 15 says and the best decision that i made was i i was able to stay in god's presence and say god what is the clothing that you want me to stay awake and guard according to revelation 16 15 and the lord spoke to me and said from colossians chapter 3 verse 12 be sober be kind be humble be patient long suffering these are the characters of jesus christ that we see on the cross he said i want to see you clothed with these colossians 3 12 gives an answer and the decision that i could take was lord give me the the, the patience give me the tolerance give me the grace to be good to others even if they may be bad to me give me the grace to be like how you were on the cross and that's probably the best decision i've taken by the george i'm still not perfect out there i know i have my <laughs> shortfalls weaknesses and each day i pray god give me the strength to be more like you as you were on the cross i mean to be on the cross and tell somebody father forgive them for they don't even know what they did i mean it it, it takes more than what i am i mean for jesus to have said that i said god give me the grace to be there if ever i can say what you said let me live in honor of your name and let me portray or emulate jesus 
through all the walk or the stages of life that I get to walk through. And well, I thank God. From what you said, you're an example to all of us and an encouragement, of course, that you are living for the name of Jesus in your country. Before I go, how is it at the moment with the um, the COVID in India? How, how hard is it at the moment? Oh, brother, it's pretty bad, as you're seeing in the news. The hospitals mm -hmm. are overflowing. There's no place for patients, no beds, no oxygen. Medicines are in short supply. And, you know, there is a total lethargy. Medical uh, staff or the medical uh, people who actually run the hospitals, they are exhausted. Mm -hmm. And we have so many missionaries and pastors who are admitted without even oxygen. Wow. Uh, last whole week, we've had a list of pastors who've passed away. And there's a lot of prayer groups that are formed, especially on Zoom and WhatsApp and all that. We're praying for ministers of God who are passing away. And please pray for this nation. We are actually going through a very bad crisis. And I would request all of you to kindly pray for this country. We need souls for Christ. Amen. We can't lose like this. So let's pray for that and uh, thank you. The would situation you like, is really... Would you like to pray for that now then? Would I pray for India and for the, for the situation at the moment? Yeah. Yes, uh, maybe brother. Uh, if, you could, if you could pray for, for India at the moment, please. Okay. You pray. Okay. You, you want me to pray? Yes, please. Okay, okay. And sure, we'll sure. join with you. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's all bow our heads in God's Absolutely. presence and pray. Loving God, our Heavenly Father, we come to your holy presence this day and we thank you, Father. We come at India into your hands. Father, Lord, for the turmoil that this country is going through, for the thousands that are losing their lives every day, for the lacks that are being affected by this COVID virus. Father, we come to you, Lord. Lord, and we know that many of the souls haven't even heard about Jesus, haven't even known the true and living God. They don't know what the gospel is. They do not know what the love of God is. Father, with this burden for souls, we come into your presence and we pray that you will give one more chance for this country, Lord. Hallelujah. By your mercy, we just request you, Lord, from the bottom of our hearts. Kindly give us one moment more to share your gospel. We, your children here, Lord, those of us who know you, we take this responsibility on our shoulders, Lord, to share your love. If we've been falling short somewhere by not being sharing the gospel enough, kindly pardon us. And this day we, we understand, Lord, that one soul is far more valuable than this entire globe put together. According to your word, you shed your blood for each one of them. And Father, we take responsibility for that blood that you shed today. Give us the grace to stand and pray for them. And Lord, to redeem them from, from their souls perishing into hell. Father, this day we come before you, Lord. Give a redemption for this country. Let the souls be touched. Let Jesus be magnified over this place. And Father God, we give the entire country to you. We pray for every soul that's suffering. Every missionary, every pastor that's in the hospital. I I pray for every medical professional who's going through difficult times. Father, please be with them. We pray for the supply of medicines. We pray for sufficient oxygen to be available. We pray for hospital beds and facilities to be available for staff. Above all, Father God, I pray for your healing power to manifest through people. I pray for people to be delivered in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will see a victorious breakthrough in this country, Lord. A revival like never before. Holy Spirit, let your mighty flow be seen upon each state of this country. We commit ourselves to you and pray earnestly from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you and we wholeheartedly believe that you will do it because your word says where two or three of you agree in my name, it will be done. Hallelujah. All of us who are connected together yeah. with one accord, we agree in Jesus' name that India will be blessed, yes. that souls will know Jesus and they will not perish to hell. Father, we commit them into your hands and we thank you for you will do it, Father, over our prayers. In Jesus' most precious and mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Stachy. Uh, just to let you know, we have been praying for India at our prayer meeting on Thursday nights, and we will continue to do so this coming Thursday as well. Once Thank again, you. let me say, well, as I hand back to Alan.
story.